and welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey Nexus. I hope you enjoyed my little monta uh, montage before the video actually started. I just wanted to show you guys that I worked on my monster codex. I pretty much farmed all possible items that I was missing since I kind of wanted to find the readers. I couldn't believe that I I'm still unable to make them readers, you know? And then I figured out where I was able to get them. And actually I could have gotten them much earlier after finding the mirror. Oh, I'm still missing one. Phew, I'm still missing. But I'm gonna take care of that later. Anyways, I grind it up a bit. Our party is at 62 right now, or mostly. Alicia's still one level ahead because she's the only one which I didn't reset it. And now, after all of those preparation and having so many Amritas, ah, oh, it's just lovely. It's so lovely. I think we are prepared to attempt this fight seriously. I'm going to make that a little bit. Since we already know what's going to happen. The poison gas and the Viking princess saving Müller. Now the monster is going to pop up soon. After Müller is saved for one second. Come on. So, there it is. Come at me. So from our last encounter, I know that you're going to use some things called thunder loud something. So I'm gonna use another scope, back order, holding miasma, and hold prophecy. Should block it, right? Yes, it's blocked it. Okay, let's see. I'm able to curse and bind you. I can leg like bind you, but I don't know if that's going to help us. And uh, sweep thunder. Okay. Oh boy, God break us up. Okay. Full break. Uh, you can use White Spark. Got us up. The vendor die next. Stifling Miasma for you, and you gonna use. Curse, huh? Okay. What did that do? The trade is down. Let's try to blind you then. Heal all. I think I'm able to use luggage, right? Yeah, that should work. Cross is up. Let's defend for now. Uh, wait, what did that do? Is that the indication that I'm supposed to vault guard again? It probably is. Full break. Never mind, guard break. Pause. Shadow bite. Let's refresh on attack order. Uh, 
and Stifling Miasma. And you're gonna use Vault Prophecy. Here we go! It didn't do what I expected it to do, but it still worked. Use retain and shut and continue with Wolf of the Sea. Blocked it. Perfect. So, ah, the healing thing. The healing thing. I think I just need to power through this phase, right? So, let's. Let's punish that thing really hard with Sluggish Miasma continues. Can use Bolt, so Inary Thunder! There we go! Haha! <laughs> So I just need to hit it really hard to kick it out of the healing phase. So, and I think he's going to use ice now. Guard break is still there, so let's use full break. Fighting thing. Which is going to use. Oh, need another prevent order. And Sifting Yasma is still good. Sagittarian like Shot is coming down. Just attack for now. We're gonna use Ice Prophecy. Well, are you gonna use it? Yes! Yes! Perfect! Perfect! Okay. That's bad. Need to use guard break again. Running slides. Head bash. Terrian shot. And let's kick him out of that face again. There we go! And... Nope! Not enough! Yeah, now... Now it's enough. But he's still healed. Another guard break. We could attempt to blind him again. Head bash. Swiffling Miasma and... Probably going to use ice again. Yeah. Please be right. Nope. That's fine. What was that? Oh, that's bad. Full break time. Centro. Let's just do this. Let's use this. And I wish I had blind arrow on him right now. But instead of that, we're going to use Sluggish Miasma again. That should help. Come on. Please miss me. Now you. What did that do? He removed my thing again! You evil little thing! You know what? You're gonna get a heavy strike this time. Heavy and shot again. 
Uh, binary Thunder. There we go. So much for your healing, huh? Not gonna use. Uh, wait. Okay, it still has stuff. Not gonna let you use any more heals. As long as I'm around. Also. Angry arms. How do I get that? Ah, uh, oh, oh, probably armbind, huh? It's probably armbind. It's gonna use eyes. I forgot. But with blind, it could miss. I should guess. No, oh, that's trouble, but. Also fine, I just need to get that one thing for Levi. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Toment. Let's use... Use wall, so... Ice for defense? Nope! Okay. It's almost dead. Okay, let's use guard break again. Wait, wait, I need I need to arm by him. Uh throw. Bend order. Binding Miasma. Release spell! Good work! Come on, Ray! I'm bind! I know you can do it! Don't wanna risk it! Kill smite! Defense, defense! Prevent order for the, for the other line, I think. Come on, I want that item! I know that it's going to work. It has to work. Bind. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna get back to that. It's not. What did it? Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna fight that thing again. Whew. But after some preparation, it wasn't even that bad. The first attempt was much worse. Asperia. Enrique approached your guild as Alicia shattered their weapon. Are you okay? That monster looked dangerous. Oh, it is. It really is. It's really powerful. Don't even try to fight that thing. You give Enrique a, a short nod, then look around to see how the others are holding up. From the looks of things, everyone has some minor scraps and bruises, but nothing life threatening. We were saved by Vesperia. Atelinda murmurs this to herself. <laughs> They're Maginia's finest adventurers. Good work, Vesperia. Mula boasted of your succession. Of course. Yes, good work. Thanks to them, we all pulled through. Upon seeing and request of her thanks, Mula gets to his feet and speaks up. Um, Princess Enrica, I'd like to say thank you for assisting, uh, for the assistance you provided earlier. I don't intend to allow you to take the treasure, but he may have been acting a little childish. Enrica accepts Ula's apology with a smile. 
We don't intend to let you take the treasure either. Still, apology accepted. Berlin and Rika conversation lowers. Uh, conversation lowers some of the tension between the seafarers and the Virginia soldier. What's really here? Uh, what's really here in these rooms? I've heard they house a clue to find Lemuria's treasure. I believe it's here in these rooms. They are very clearly speak of Lemuria's secret treasure. What do they mean when they say Lemuria's treasure is eternal prosperity? Eternal prosperity. In ancient time, Lemuria produced a great power. This treasure was named uh, Jormungard, and it was created by taking energy from Yggdrasil. It has been called the World Serpent. That is, doesn't sound that good. Jormungard? Yes, according to the lore, Lemuria was only known to prosper because it was protected by the World Serpent. It stated that Jormungard sleeps deep below the center of this island, beneath Yggdrasil. Oh, that's not good. I see. So, whoever makes it to Yggdrasil first will be able to lay claim to this Jormungard. Enrique nods as it, at his words. <laughs> Regardless of who gets there first, let's have no hard feeling between us and no battles until then. We'll make it a real race. Prosperity to whichever side reaches it first. Sounds good, Vesperia? Sure. I probably need to save you if you try to go there first. Enrique has proposed a challenge. Sounds like an adventurer. Enrique smiles at your answer. That settles it. Then no fighting until one of us obtained the treasure. We'll recruit with the sailor in the shrine and head back to our base. That's actually fine, I don't really want to fight them. With that, Enrica and Atralinde take their leave. Müller also stated that he intend to round up the soldier and return home. Yeah, you better! The princess might be in danger, she's still sick after all. I want you to investigate what's beyond here and report your finding to HQ. We'll learn the soldiers, then head out. You decided to follow orders and proceed deep into the ruins. Oh, am I now? You know, it's actually nothing special. It's probably just a geometric pole and nothing else, you know? Just a geometric pole. Could have done that by yourself. I guess I'm the one who's always going to open doors. Who are you? What are you? Why do I never see you? You help them, even though they are your enemies. You hear a familiar voice as you approach the door. Where are you? But they are human. What would you have done if they weren't? You've come this far. I want to see how you carry yourself until the end. You mean end? The unknown girl's voice resonates through then, uh, throughout and disappears completely. Her words freshen your mind. You move on to the next door. Pole. Oh, oh, I can. Oh my god. If I knew that, I could have made much better thumbnails. Way to remember this. Upon passing through the door, you once again find yourself before a vibrant pillar of light. This must be another pole. Touching it should send you to the new island. Okay. Let's just circle around once. Draw these walls and get out of here. Interesting. The 
Land of Treacherous Cliff. East of Bluffs. Okay. Hills. You touch the pole and in an instant you find yourself standing somewhere new. As you rejoice in your accomplishment, you notice a strange figure staring at you from a shadow of the trees. Let me guess. Plop. Never mind. <laughs> okay, who are you? You're kinda adorable. Let me get let me get a bit Yeah, so cute. So cute! You kinda remind me of the forest people in Etienne Odyssey 1. Just said you also kinda look like a bird with those head feathers. Things. It seems to have caught your staring back and vanished from sight. It disappeared in the direction of what appears to be a large cave. That's far away. Really far away. Golden layer. So not only did you make it through the ruins, but you also managed to form a ceasefire with the Seafair Princess. Now that's plot. I knew it! <laughs> you recognize the voice and turns to find Plot. It seems he has also come here via the geometric pole. Still, you should return to Virginia at once. I believe some trouble has arise. Uh, what is that? Plot then settles out through the flames. So I'm supposed to go back and you just continue on. Don't you think that's unfair? It's kinda like a head start for you. It seems both a new mystery and a new threat has revealed themselves. Find Plot's word concerning as well. You should report back to Virginia, then begin your exploration. First, let's grab this. I'll see what's going on. Vesperia, Master Miller wishes to speak with you back at the HQ immediately. With this message delivered, the soldier runs off. Might something have happened? Well, let's first sell our stuff. Ooh, what was that? Let's see. Rest. Okay. Before we do anything, I kind of wanna return all of my readers. Why did I even farm that many if I didn't even use any of them? That thing died way too quickly. I didn't even have to use a nectar. Uh, we're gonna also, also go in the back. Anything else? Oh, wait. Don't need that. Don't need that. And I should probably rest up as well. I'm way too quick if I'm storage and things. Make a little safe. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Oh, I love this feature. Why didn't I notice that sooner? Ah, you're here. Vesperia, terrible news. Her Highness wasn't feeling well, so, re so she retired to her room, but now she disappeared. God's detail was a light while we were away. It seems someone exploited. Oh. God's details, but was light when we were away. So that means you took so many guards that the defense was quite low. And it seems someone exploited the situation and stole her from you. Based on your conversation with them earlier, I doubt that the seafarers would employ such dishonest tactics. We've been checked area close to the city, in addition to the labyrinths we've cleared. Of course, I intend to raise this matter with the seafarers as well. I dare ask that you continue exploring the island as, you've as you have been. It's possible Her Highness was taken to the labyrinth if yet to find. Even if that's not the case, I wish to reassure her that we are still making steady progress in our exploration. I understand your concern, but please focus on exploring the labyrinth and leave the search to us. 
We are all counting on you. Are you sure about that? I don't think that's something you guys are going to handle alone. After all, I almost did everything up until now. Everything. Hmm. So if she wasn't found in all of those directions, in all labyrinths, and... Oh no, please not the green child. The green child kidnapped her, then that would be really bad. You arrive at a large cave where you first saw the mysterious figure. That figure, however, is nowhere to be, uh, nowhere to be seen. You can see a smoke glowing out from the bin. Upon closer observation, you realize that the smoke is actually steam. You can only imagine this weathering heat that waits. You steal yourself and carefully step inside. Steam. So fire. Oh god. Oh. As you step inside the cave, you immediately notice the incredible warm temperature. Steam arises from a quiet steam nearby. What could be causing this drastic change in atmosphere? Curiously abound, but you decided to move on. Okay. So, we have some waters. Let's switch up those tiles. That's one way. Nothing else. No shortcuts. Hmm, okay. I forgot to use stalker. Just in case. We kind of want to explore more than fight. Fighting is something I'm going to do mostly off screen. Especially if it's involving farming. More water. Even more water. I wonder if I'm going to do something with the mod later on. In here. Little event, huh? Yeah. As you proceed through the cave, you reach a big tear. Peculiar spot. Landed with sharp stone pillars. They almost look like torture devices. Tripping here would be very dangerous. Someone could get hurt or worse. You can break the pillar if you wish. Yes. These pillar may end up hurting someone. Bearing the thought in mind, you decided to break them off before any such event occurs. The pillar are tough, but with your weapons and a little brute force, you manage to brush them down and flatten the point, point, uh, point, sharp points. Having completed the mission, you then spy something circular resting between the pillars. Pick it up to find it's a bracelet. Another adventurer must have dropped it. Perhaps it's a reward for your good deed. You gratefully pocket the bracelet and continue your exploration. Who knows, maybe we're going to fall down if we were to go up. But mostly we're going downward, so... Let's see what the bracelet bracelet is all about. That's actually quite good. Boost their defense and HP, but I don't need that for right now. So where is this heading? Make your way through the seemingly endless heat. You suddenly feel a draft of cool air from the air area ahead. What could it be? The curiosity enticed you to take a look. Am I now? Am I really? Are you absolutely sure? In a close quartered area, you look around and find the source of the cooling air. 
seems to be coming from the ground below. You can dig here if you're curious to know more. Ooh! Ice sticks you acquired is cold to the touch, solid as metal and extremely sharp. Even after holding it for a while, it doesn't seem as though it will melt. In fact, it's so cold it started to burn your hands. It's likely it won't melt even if you put it in your backpack. Okay. So that's a shopping point. If I use shopping or rather the mining points in this area are involved with those lights it seems like. But how do I use them? And what do I do with them? So it seems like I cannot throw them in the water and then make the way appear. That would be way too simple, huh? So I guess you're going to use fire. <laughs> oh god. Uh, oh my god, you have the conditional. Probably it's going to involve killing you with fire, huh? Like the other ones I already had. Let's try head bash and this. Ah, chaos. Chaos should work. It didn't work. Aren't you going to use fire? Then you're going to love it. And oh, you're going to love it. And again, now that your head binds, it's actually quite low chance that you can do it. So let's use Ice Star. I knew it. Was that? Can I use fire now? Or better yet, I'm just going to auto kill you now. So, just in case fire is going to heal you by any strange ways, you never know what's going to happen in this game. Scorching stone. Okay. Ah! Little, little thing! As you proceed through a warm cave, you look ahead and find something staring at you in the distance. Oh my god, you're so adorable! So adorable! You growl at me! The shite like creature speaks as though it were trying to intimidate you, then disappears further into the cave. It didn't look like an adventurer. Who or what could it have been? Curious, you followed the creature's lead. Maybe it's going to help us out? No? Help us? Uh, okay, there's a door. There's also some... Oh, never mind. Absolutely nothing. But the way goes on like this. Did I overlook something? No. So we have a door here, but the way also continues... Never mind. Going to say that it continues on like this, but I guess now we have to encounter the FOB. It's a turtle. It's going to follow me around the circle, it seems like. Ah, game. I just wanted to draw the wall. Don't need to color everything blue every time I try to draw a wall. Back to blue and done. 
So it goes all the way around. Like this. Then we have the next door. And we are out of here. So that thing is all the way down here. There are two of them. And I see some water tunnels. Game, please do not draw floor tiles if I wanna <laughs> just want to draw walls. Now you can draw some wa uh, water tiles. And now let's just escape from here before something dangerous appears. We're exploring the dismal humid wave. A uh, cave. You eventually find a familiar face. Hey, Plot. Oh, you're here as well. Either he's not bothered by the humidity, or he has a skill that keeps the heat at bay. He addressed you with a cool headed expression. You should know there are some in this cave that would stand against you. And I'm not talking about the monster. No, his creatures are far more advanced. As if you were able to read your thought. Have you seen them yet? Either way, it's no ordinary labyrinth. Do be careful. With that, Plops gets people into the cave. See, I told you, you would just go run off on your own with a head start. Also, I hope you don't try anything funny with my little green guy friend. He just trying to be intimidating, but it's not really going to help him at all. At least not against me. So, we have water in front of him. There's some water in front of me. Even more water. This room is really strange. What's the point of that? Just going to block me from coming back. I don't see any shortcut yet. Ah! As the humidity takes its toll, you continue through the cave to find a familiar face. Oh, hi, Enrica! Oh, Vesperia! Took you long enough! And Sister Enrica greets you with a smile. I was hoping I'd get to explore this cave before you and get ahead of the competition. She stated prideful. However, it seems like I failed. There's something blocking the path ahead. According to Enrica, an extremely hot object is stirring the way forward. But perhaps you can do something about it? Enrica continues, her eyes full of hope. Okay, I made up my mind. Vesperia, what if I join you? I will help you out uh, until we get out of this cave. Of course, you will have to thank me as well. She's confident, asking for permission to join you. You may answer her however you like. Um. Sure, why not? I like you. Even though I would have Wolfgard over you any times, and you're probably not going to help me at all, fight. Or are you going to help me, Manicha? Rika answers with a big smile as she joins the group. Are you going to help me in fights? Alright, let's go. I'm sure we will be able to find a way through. And she won't know. Oh, come on! But with luck like hers. She's sure to find and restore you with treasures from the labyrinth. Not only that, but her charismatic and uplifting personality will allow your party to slowly recover. Oh, you can for all. Uh, you know what, Enrica? Just stay with us. I always like TP. Just, just stay in our party forever. I don't mind having you around. You nod at her encouraging words and proceed further into the cave. But I also hope that I still have a chance to get 
a party with Fourth Guard again. Ooh, what's that? You pass through the door to find a pillar of head, uh, red hot objects. The amount of heat radiant from the pillar is incredible. Now, you are far away, you still feel your forehead being, uh, begin to sweat. This must be what Enrica was talking about. If you have found a way to pass through this, uh, through this smoldering obstacle, then you may proceed. Okay, and how do I do that? Any hint? The bizarre object is glowing red with high heat. You may be able to destroy it with an ice stake. How do you even know that? Wait, what? The bizarre object shattered. The ice stake lowers the object's temperature and broke it in one fell swoop. No sooner that the bizarre object's been broken than you feel the air in the labyrinth quickly cooling. It seems that the cave is returning to its original bright temperature. The ice stake still retains its original form. You decided to keep it with you in case you come across any more of those objects. Oh! Well, that's cool. But that also ruins my color scheme. What's that? Shopping point? Okay. So, I guess I need to decide which ball I'm going to follow from now on, right? Because this is also an object. Oh, never mind. It's like, that's the only way I have. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh! So that was a connection point. That's nice. What? Okay, that's going to get annoying. I just randomly start to slip all over the place. Especially since the colors of Let's see. As you explore the cave, you see something shiny on the ground for you. Or stream again imagination, or something really there. You take a few steps forward and find the health buried coin. You can dig it out if you wish. Sure. It's not every day you find money on the ground. Might as well dig it out. You decided to dig out the coin. But the dense, hard soil surrounds it won't make it easy. It may take some effort. Livy. Livy uses the weapon to start digging at the rock solid earth. It takes some time to dig, and just a little bit, Livy starts to sweat. Thanks to Livy's effort, you obtained a few coins. Oh. Wow. That's not even worth it. After some time and effort, you were able to obtain a few coins. It doesn't seem as though all of that hard work was really worth it. You decided to return to your exploration. That wasn't worth it at all. Healing is even more expensive than that. But at least we got some XP, which we don't need. Well. Let's see what this is going to lead us. And actually, I just noticed we're already at 45, 44 minutes. I'm going to make a cut here. I hope you guys had fun. And see you in the next part. Bye!